Hey y'all, it's Vera, and I'm going to do some cards for Venus trying Neptune tomorrow. Uh, we just had the eclipse, well, we just had two eclipses within the last little bit of time here, and um, I don't know about you all, but I've been feeling amazed and crunched and hopeful and scared and I don't know there's a calm coming in like here we are here we are we are already inhabiting this gorgeous this gorgeous new time on earth I mean we kind of have to catch up with ourselves but we're also already there. Um, anything you're worried about? Um, I mean, I don't want to say that lightly because there's, I know people are going through difficult things. Um, I don't want to just say, oh, everything will be okay, even though in some way, Everything will be okay. Um, what do I want to say? There's a way in which we can flood our understanding of the past or allow our understanding of our stories and ourself, ourselves. Allow that to be rendered differently because of this flood of light that's pouring in or this flood of water, these gallons of love and prayer for for ourselves and for each other, you know. Take time, really time, for self-love. The self-love that is as much as absolutely important a part of self-care is brushing your teeth and all those things, you know, paying your bills and all that, doing your laundry, but Allow yourself to be delighted by yourself, by your own existence. You know, no matter what people have said about you or the rules they've tried to impose on your capabilities in love or that you've tried to impose on yourself out of fear or learned self-hatred, learned trauma. This is where we are now. We're here. Okay. And if you don't feel you're there yet, just give yourself, it's not a matter of yet either. It's not a matter of if you're there yet. It's really not. It's just allowing yourself this absolute flood of love. Okay? We are releasing ourselves. any ridiculous bondage that's been imposed upon us or been ingrained in us. We're ready. You know, look at this new, this new chance flying in there. You can lay down your bags, you know. You can stow them. You can know that you've bestowed yourself with all that you need. You, In the stories that you've lived and understood and survived and enjoyed and I don't know, you're strong, you're wealthy, you're capable. You are a figure on earth. You are part of the earth. Your imagination is part of the earth. Your joy is part of the earth. Yes, your trauma is also part of the earth's experience, but we're going through this intense rebirth time right now. Renewal. Moving toward our 
the expansiveness of our soul's true shape, the utter and ever expanding expansiveness, but also the coziness, the coziness here on earth. You know, so that it's not going to be completely unfamiliar. It's not going to be completely not what you expect. As people tend to say sometimes, it won't be what you expect. But it will be what you need. And there'll be a familiarity to it, like a depth of familiarity. A depth of familiarity that is profound. And contains astonishment as well. You know, it's like when a baby's being cradled by its parent. Cradle yourself that way. Cradle your loves that way. We're making it happen right now. It might feel awkward. It might feel bumpy. It might feel shocking. But here we are, it's our book. It's our earth, it's our astonishment and our familiarity. It's our love. 